Hello. Okay, I found the problem. Um, all the items are stuck in this hopper. So they're transferring, they're making it all the way up the tower. And sorry for the clicking, I turned on the, uh, the uh, elevator flush system so I could confirm that the all that was working. Um, and uh, so look what's happening. Everything made it all the way up here and gets pushed into this hopper. This hopper is pointed at this chest, but notice I can't open the chest. Oops, I think that's the problem. Um, so, and I forgot to replace that block of, uh, of wool that I, I sort of pulled out anyway. So here's what we're gonna do. I should have left that in there. I need to clean up those torches. Okay. So, I think what we need to do here... Is... Uh, just don't fall off. Okay. So, here's what I think we need to do. This is a little bit annoying. But not, a, not, un, not unfixable. Um, let's go down one here. So, dropper remain needs to remain the same. Hopper here. I need to pull out the things, and I need to pull out my my pick. And hopper, and here. So I'm going to take out this hopper and then I'm going to take out this chest. I don't think I left. I don't think I'd left. Ah, shoot. Okay. Um, dang. These chests take forever. Okay. And then this guy. Okay. So then what I need to do is put a hopper that feeds directly down into that chest. I think because this chest couldn't open, it couldn't receive any stuff from the uh, from the hopper. So make sure I'm in a safe place here. Now I need to replace this uh, block of wool. Let's do that while I'm up here. Uh, I think that was just right there, right? Yeah, I think so. And so All right, let's go down. I have to repair my shovel. Yeah, shovel's not super awesome. So we should be able to repair no problem. Right. Okay. So here, now let's see how much stuff dropped down into the farm. A few things. Okay. Let's uh, turn off that annoying clicking sound. Thank you. All right. So we know that our flush circuit works. Let's go pick up our stuff down here. And we know. Oops. We know that the <clears throat> um, we know that the tower works. So let's throw some more stuff down in here. Let's throw our dirt in again, and it starts going, starts clicking away, and once it fills up these uh, droppers, notice the ticking stops, and before too long. <laughs> Um, there should be another chest around here somewhere too. That's okay. Before too long. 
Oh, actually, that's a good sign. The fact that stuff filtered all the way down. Oh. Okay, well, it's still going. It is, I guess it's now 77. Um chests and hoppers that it has to go through and there's a certain rate at which things flow through chests and hoppers. Oh look, there's our dirt. So it comes back down. Awesome. Okay. So what are we going to do? I'm going to grab my axe from here because that would have been handy for breaking those chests. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to Ah, take out this ladder and here's how we're going to deal with this hole in the ground remember I said I needed carpet that's what the carpet is for um, so one very cool thing about carpet is uh, it stacks so if I put carpet down there and put carpet on top notice oh look it comes up um, I can't place one right there because of this guy, but that becomes a non-issue in a moment, you'll see. And when place it on top of things like redstone or torches, it uh, not only does it not break redstone current, it has the nice benefit of being walkable. So I can jump up on here and cover all this with uh, with carpet. Now obviously if I have a a flood of water or if I attack it with uh, with the sword it goes away but look it covers it up you can't see it and you can walk on it okay so now we have a working okay okay look so 64 plus 65 came back down I put two stacks of 64 in that means somewhere in this tower of droppers probably way up at the top there are, oh, starting down here, there are going to be droppers that contain blocks of dirt and just haven't worked their way up. So that's what my flush circuit is for. I won't annoy you with the sound, but that will have pushed a few more. Well, eventually it will push them all out. Uh, that's fine and dandy. Now, the, the other thing that would be nice to know is how full is this? So here's how we're going to do that. Uh, we have to take down this guy. So for that, this is why we need our redstone lamps. Slabs. And more comparators. In fact, we need 20 of each. I have exactly 20 comparators. So um, we should be fine. Now this is something that is... Okay, this actually would have been good to do while we were building up. Uh, let me show you the basics. Um, I'm going to put in a, I'm going to use a slab, a stone slab. I'm using it because it's convenient. You could use full blocks of something. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to put it in at the, at the top of the block next to this hopper. Why am I unable to place that block? And place it here, right? Place it there. Wait a second. Something's not right. What is going on? Did they change? Wait, did they? They didn't change this, did they? That would really suck if they did. place it there no it's not the right place either maybe oh is that carpet in the way oh I think the carpet is in the way there we go 
And then from here, we want to place a comparator that faces out from the chest. You can leave it in comparison mode. And then the redstone lamp. Um, let's see here. This is uh, getting back down is going to be the tricky bit here. So I'm going to I'm going to put up a pillar of of, uh, of dirt as I do it. Now, I don't have enough redstone lamp that I feel comfortable putting one at every, um, at every juncture here. Uh, not juncture, you know what I mean. Or maybe you don't, because I'm not being clear. Uh, so, I could put one against the wall like this at every, every other layer, basically. Every other time that there's a chest against the wall. Um... But I'm going to do it every other time that there's a layer against the wall. Um, so I'm going to put this here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, this will work. Okay, so I'm going to go place all these and then get my way back down. Um, because there we go. And what will happen um, is as this chest starts to fill up, the comparator will output a signal and power the redstone lamp. So you'll be able to see exactly how many. Let's see, I'm put him there, skipping this one, putting one here. Uh, you'll be able to see how many of these are, are filled up. I'll move these torches out there. And, um, yeah. So, let me, uh, let me get these in place. Oh, no! I have to be careful. I don't have a lot of excess of these. So, anyway, uh, let me go put these in, and I'll be back with you shortly. <clears throat> Alright. Welcome back. Okay, so this is extremely tedious, but let me show you the process. So I'm, I'm pillaring up. I'm uh, skipping one. I'm gonna put in a uh, put in the slab here. Put in the redstone lamp and walk over into the space. Turn around. Place comparator while I'm jumping up, and then carefully make my way back over to the dirt pillar so that I can pillar up to the next one. All right. So this is, as I said, an extremely tedious, but it'll work out well once I start filling up. I see how much stuff I have. And so I just have to make sure not to forget, like, placing a comparator. Anyway, um, still got a ways to go. I'll come back at you when I am done. Um, luggage room would be nice okay. if that works out. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Or or you can go have lunch with them and I mean whatever. It, 
it, that's um, that might be a good thing since I'm going to be busy on Sunday. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that actually might not be super convenient for them. But I don't know. We can figure it out. Okay. Okay. All right. I love you, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. All right. Bye. Hey, buddy. 10 o'clock. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, where was I? Um, got him skipping him. Here we go. Oh, come on. There. There. A comparator. One, two, three, four. It works out well. There. There. Jump in. Comparator. Hello, top of the farm. We've still got a ways to go. So, because this is every other... Every other layer, it works out that pillaring up four works out very nicely. Pillar up four, place the place the blocks, and as I said, you don't have to use slabs. If you use slabs, they have to be at the top of the block. Otherwise, you can't put the comparator on them. Um, uh, but any, honestly, any, any, any block, any block that will hold. Um, redstone or redstone components will do if I had a lot more quartz I would probably make quartz slabs but the stone slabs are nice enough so there we go and this is something you could do later as well you don't have to do it right away uh, because you don't need to know uh, don't necessarily need to know when the top layers are, are filled unless you've already got a ton of stuff so I'm gonna fill up I've got like eight double chests full so the first four uh, the first couple lamps will be lit when I hook up the uh, the hoppers to the the uh, farm collection chest but the but it'll take a while to fill so I'm gonna have to uh, hang around a bit and wait for them but it, it will be nice to know when the rest of the chests up here are filled because when that's ready I can always run a line of hoppers over and build another one of these uh, over in the other side which is kind of ridiculous having what I said this is uh I don't remember 37 levels of double chests so that would mean I have you know 70 some levels of double chests worth of um worth of cactus and at that point I should just figure out some sort of disposal mechanism because I will never use that much cactus I will come up with solutions for it like I can you know I plan to use cactus in, in my string farm when I start building that out um, when I do a slime farm when I find some slime chunks or narrow down I think I know where some slime chunks are uh, so if I if I build a slime farm that'll be handy and uh, these new underwater mobs the guardians that just were part of the 25a snapshot that was 
completely messed up because they changed the way blocks are being rendered and they had some backwards including comparators and uh, and repeaters so when you placed them they were they either placed backwards or they just rendered backwards which is not a good thing are we almost done oh yay okay good because I'm almost out of comparators so one oh this is the last one yay okay so we are done placing the lamps as far as they will go um, once this one lights up there's still one two three double chests full of of stuff to go but that's okay okay I'm gonna take down torches as I go down here so this is gonna take a mo moment give me a minute to get uh, this done and uh, we will uh, when I get back down to the bottom we will hook up the hoppers to start filling this thing okay so we're back down we got all of our lights installed I got most of the torches down I have uh, there's I think there's one torch way up there which I'll need to get later it's not a not urgent so the question is how do we get stuff from here into there that's relatively easy so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, we're gonna put in a row of hoppers and with hoppers you kind of want to put them in backwards because they need you need to you you attach them to the thing they're pointing to hoppers will go down here I took out some of the lighting unfortunately now I'm going to I could put them in underneath here um, but I don't want to um, because I may want to take out the second half of this chest it doesn't need to be a double chest at this point so we want the, the we want the cactus to travel from here over there so we're going to so you place where the the hopper where you want stuff to go to so we place them in like this now there are other options you could do here you could I could do uh, I had mentioned I think the possibility of doing like a rail car rail car system um, sorry I have to remove some there we go so now stuff will flow see here it's it's flowing out of this and it's gonna flow into here and through here we can see items moving through the hoppers and they will move into this bottom hopper and you can see the light is flashing um, and again this light is on because of this torch it's not actually on yet so let's pop that off um, just ambient light okay so now we can put dirt blocks back in down here because we don't frankly need to have this as a gaping hole and then to cover up this we use our carpets uh, items can flow through the carpet so if you drop anything down here if you have any mobs come in and you kill them their stuff will go into the uh, into the elevator and this looks funky um, but of course the way we're going to get around it is I'm going to carpet the whole room and the nice thing about that is when you carpet over jack-o-lanterns the light stays on the light goes through the carpet which is kind of awesome so I'll be able to carpet over all this and maintain the light levels in here so I don't get spawns um, so this is going to go on for a little while we should have stuff flowing into here we can take out the cactus I mean you take out the dirt and then the other thing is, so I moved this chest. I had this chest and crafting table were right here, but they were exactly in the wrong place. I didn't think about where I was putting them. So let me uh, let me empty out a few things here. And uh, yeah, so then we can actually come up here and pull out the contents of this. Um, originally, my plan was to. Uh, I was I originally planned to have a row of double chests right here feeding in a hopper down into this dropper 
and I was having a lots of items get stuck in the uh, in the elevator here and the the reason on that I figured out was the uh, the torch when this block got powered by the little pulse generator it was locking the hopper that was feeding um, was feeding in so that didn't work out so well so I uh, I had to rearrange it a little bit uh, so my plan was to have an input chest over here that you could just drop stuff manually into instead of just throwing it all in here um, but having to have to feed through all the hoppers if you really want a an input chest you can place it here uh, so if, do I have one let me go grab one because this could be handy for, for right now uh, I do have some leftover chests I don't need the crafting bench so you can place the chest right here and then when we go and grab more of these cactuses woohoo instead of dropping them in here and waiting for them to filter one at a time through here I can just put them into here and they'll feed through here into this hopper chain as well probably slows things down a bit uh, it's probably not ideal but this guy it'll take some time but but trust me these things will fill up so I'm gonna go help speed along the process feed in some of my cactus stalks here actually wait cool thing about this is let's pick these up now they will start filling in the chest before now this this hopper needs to fill up but as soon as it fills up and the chest next to it starts getting some items in it and it doesn't make a fool of me Come on. Did I screw that up? Oh no, it's still filling that one. Okay, give me some time. Come on. Come on. This light should be going on. What's going on? Did I screw this up? Oh, hopper's still not full, but it's close. Maybe 10 seconds. As soon as that hopper fills up, then the chest in front of it will start filling up, which should turn on this lamp. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Anytime. Come on. Come on. It shouldn't take that many items in the chest to make the lamp turn on. What's going on? Oh, you're not fill up there you go oh wait a second oh it's this hopper in here pow look the lamp is on <laughs> Because now things are backing up into this chest here. Yeah, and then we can fill up this chest. Ah, oh, stop throwing cactus around there. Okay. Okay. Let me uh let me go do some of this and we'll do some cleanup. Yeah, look at that. Help it along. All right. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if I'm going to leave this uh, pumpkin farm down here. I don't really need it anymore. But if I need pumpkins for some reason, I may actually, I may find that when I get the, the, uh, all the carpeting down, that the amount of pumpkins that I have in here, although it's enough to keep the lighting levels such that nothing will be able to spawn, it may not, um, may not be pleasing. I may feel that I want to have a, uh, a higher ambient light level. So now I'm filling this this chest. So it it'll have to do this one and then the one above it to to turn on the second lamp. But we got plenty of cactus, so that's not a problem. So I may want to put in more more jack-o'-lanterns in the ground before I lay down all the carpet. So I'm not going to get too uh, too crazy with the carpeting today. I may play around a bit and decide to do a higher density of jack-o'-lanterns. And if I want to do that, I'm going to need more jack-o'-lanterns and thus more pumpkins. So I may just... Uh... Hello, Mr. Zombie. I hear you. Go. and then you fill up there not gonna turn on the next lamp no we're not quite there yet okay that's all fine and it'll get to the point where I can't really reach anyway oops come on you can do it there we go thank you all right so anyway so that's my uh, item elevator cactus farm item elevator Oh, it's the next chest above this anyway. So, cool. Um, and I said I'm going to have to redo this down here. And I'll probably take out all these chests because I certainly don't need them anymore. Um, and if I do, if I do fill up, if, when I fill up this, uh, there we go. So now, can I reach him? Oh, yes. Be the last one I can reach. Okay, so he's starting to fill up. So, bing, next light is on. When they all light up, then I'll know that this side is almost full. And when this side is full, then what I'll do is I'll run a line of hoppers from there all the way down over here. And I'll build another one up here. And then when that one's full, then I'll run a line of hoppers over to here. And I'll build one up here. And it's no, oh, sorry. Um, and then instead of having the indicators be inside the farm like these, um, I will I put an extra um, block or slab in this case, and uh, put the redstone lamp in the wall. Replace this block with the redstone lamp. Put another thing here with redstone dust on it. Um, I think that'll work. I need to test it, but then uh, that will that'll give me an out external indicator on the front to how full the farm ultimately is. And when that gets full, and then what I'll probably do is build an item disposal unit, probably with cactus, and just start feeding the cactus into a big pit filled with more cactus. To just get rid of them because at that point it's just kind of ridiculous but I think that's it uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, when I get completely done with the uh, the interior and everything make some decisions about how I'm gonna do all this I will uh, I'll, I'll do another little showcase video but uh, in the meantime you get the idea there we go. Uh, another cool thing you can do is on this string of hoppers, if you want, you can put another one of these little, um, like, comparator and then redstone lamp. 
and it's kind of fun because when stuff comes in under normal circumstances you'll get a few things you know every couple seconds you'll get an item flowing into the hopper and then into the chest and then into the the hopper row and you can actually watch the lamps turn on as the item flows into your system it's kind of fun to watch uh, it requires quite a few more close uh, redstone lamps don't happen to have at the moment um, but after I spend a little more time in the nether I might have that and I might uh, go ahead and put that in because it's kind of uh, it's kind of fun to watch I did that in my creative world so once these all get done I might uh, once these all filter out of here it'll take a little time I might take out half of this chest don't really need it to be a double chest anymore at that point don't know if I really need this input chest, but may have it just for the sake of it. And um, yeah, and I, I may put uh, I'm gonna put some ladders up here. May put a, a ladder all the way up so that I can climb up and check on things if I need to. Probably eventually we'll get rid of the. Uh, the pumpkin farm when I no longer need it and uh, clean up the inside now of course under normal circumstances it won't really need to come in pick that up inside the farm anymore certainly don't need to uh, be able to die. it doesn't really require a lot of maintenance I just need to come in and pick up cactuses and when I get a when I fill up you know this silo here build the silo over there and fill that up and build the one in the front I'll move the door to the back because I won't really need it anymore and then uh, I will probably oh, Mr. it must be dark outside yeah it's dark uh, then I will probably put the final output chest in the wall here so I can just walk up to the outside open up the chest pull out my uh, pull out what I need and uh, and then go on my merry way so there we go uh, I'm gonna spend the night uh, waiting for daylight watching my uh, my my elevator fill up watching these chests empty and uh, waiting for the zombies to burn up so I think that's it um, we'll call that an episode thank you for watching uh, I, I think I already said that but I really do appreciate it uh, and um, pull these guys yeah so until next time enjoy have a good night and i will see you i will see you next time <laughs> god that couldn't have been any more uh, clumsy could it anyway i will see you next time thank you for watching i really appreciate it and uh see you later <laughs>